Hi everyone, welcome to Turquoise Moon. I know, there's nothing there, is there? Today we're going to discuss books. How many do you have on your to-be-read shelf? I have a few. And we're going to go through them and I'm going to explain why I have them. First of all, this was a gift from a sweet, sweet dear friend. It's an old book. It is a secondhand book. It is The Teachings of Don Juan. A, I can't pronounce the word, way of knowledge. And this is the author, Carlos Castandia. This is, like I said, it's a secondhand book. She bought it and sent it to me because she had already had one and she just didn't want it to go to waste. She said it was a good book, that she was enjoying it. And she and I went through the loss of a parent at really close to the same time, which is strange because my best friend from high school lost her mother very close to the same time I lost my father. This was the card that she gave me. It is so beautiful. Um, she says, P.S. I bought this card from Pisces Rising in her Etsy. If she's not, if she's out, you can direct message her on Instagram and she has lovely writing cards. And this was on May the 26th of 2017. There's the backing. My husband just sent me a sweet message. And isn't that just the most adorable card? I thought it was beautiful. So, I am planning to read this book. She took the time out to buy the card and send me the book. The book will be read. I love books. It doesn't matter the condition unless they're like moldy, nasty, and gross. This is a secondhand book, I understand, and I was more than appreciative to have any gift from anyone. Gifts make us all smile. The next book that I bought was <coughs> Witch by Lisa Lester. This book has got a lot of mixed reviews from the people that I know of that have indeed read the book. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some women find it a little bit off-putting, the language. I am not quite that bad as some people, you know. If this is her writing style, this is her writing style. And I know this is not her first book. But this was one of my highest liked photos that I posted on Instagram, which I found a little strange. But a lot of people were excited about the release of this book. And one reason why I did want the book, and this hooked me, I'm not going to lie, the movie The Craft is by far one of my favorites. If you could see my TV right now, you would see where I am actually trying to watch the movie, and for some reason it's not letting me. But it says, now is the time, this is the hour, ours is the magic, ours is the power. The ultimate power statement at the beginning of The Craft movie. You just can't beat it. I will let you know my opinions of which when I am done. I did not get the one with the moons. I think that was like the first edition or something. And this might be second. I really don't know. But there could be some pretty good information in there. Now then. I was watching another YouTuber's channel and more than one time they had mentioned Sky Alexander and her books and her writings and things of that nature. I had a reading app at one time before my eyes got so bad. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I had some of her books on that app. You know, you pay so much a month and you get to read unlimited books. And I was just really going crazy with the unlimited books. And then 
I got rid of the app because I just, I absolutely could not focus anymore. I hadn't got my prescription for my glasses. Um, so I remembered the name, Sky Alexander. It was everything Wicca or something that she had or everything. I don't remember. I'm trying to look it up right now on the tablet that I never used that I just found. I really don't remember what the name of it was. But I was hunting through. And if you're wondering, that's my dog. <laughs> that's my bow. Um, I don't remember everything. Wicca? I don't remember the name. And I can't think of the name. So... We're just going to forget about that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like a nightclub. Like it's like, like it's like a dummy's guide to something, but it does not say that. But I was looking through books, trying to find some that I don't have. I will get in there and show you my bookshelf. I have quite a few. I have made that video so many times on different channels. Um, well, I've had two other channels save this one. And, yeah. Anyway, so the book I bought was The Modern Guide to Witchcraft, Your Complete Guide to Witches, Covens, and Spells by Sky Alexander. Now then, you might think, why in the world would you buy a book about covens if you're not in one? Hmm. Well, I will tell you gladly. The reason why is because you can incorporate anything in any book to your own craft if you are eclectic, as I am. So, my kitty is coming up here. See the feet? It's coming. <laughs> That's my Cali cat. She's about... 15 or 16 my had a family member um, who is I completely with the loss of my father I completely disowned uh, some family and they know it and they know better than to come near me uh, after what you know that's a long story and one I will not get into. Um, they had abandoned, abused, and left her eating lizards and drinking out of a septic tank when my father rescued her from said family member. And he kept her and nursed her back to health, made her an inside cat. Come to find out, this cat was extremely expensive, has been spayed and everything else, so no one else could breed her because she is a rare type of torty. She's about 16 now, we think, 15 or 16, so, but she's a big baby. Now then, back to the book. You can incorporate anything you find in any book that says if it's a complete coven craft, anything like that, you can incorporate it all into your own practice. I have been looking at this book and trying to make the video, <laughs> that's a little bookmark, about this book for I don't know how long, Modern Witchcraft, to Ron Always. This is not a hay house. This is Adams, I believe. Yes, Adams Media. The contents page. Let's take a good look at the contents. It says, Welcome to the wonderful world of witchcraft. What is witchcraft? And I'm not going to read all those to you. I'm going to hold that there and you can pause it and read them if you like. And there's an open grimoire. So it has an introduction. This is a very 101 based book, as you can tell. It is starts off with, so you want to be a witch. So you know right then and there 
that your book is a 101 based book. Um, that's fine with me. You'll learn a lot from what, you know, one-on-one books. All authors have a different take on the craft. Now, it depends upon how they write, whether or not I can actually absorb any of their information. This one, chapter one, what is witchcraft? One-on-one book from the word go. But, like I said, you can learn anything you want to from a one-on-one -on -one book. All witches, I don't care if you say you have been practicing witchcraft for 30, 40 years. Every now and then, a good refresher book, you need it. I know this. And I'm only 10 years, 11 years in. Not ashamed to admit that. You know why? Because I'm not telling you I'm hereditary, that I was born this way. Um... You know, my grandma passed down a grimoire from, you know, the 1800s. No. I'm a witch of my own making. Am I a natural witch? Evidently, we all are if you're truly a witch. You will be a natural witch. And that's basically all there is to it. A lot of people don't understand that... A hereditary witch, there are hereditary witches, and I am not saying that there's not. But there are also self-made witches like myself. Don't, and I don't like labels. I call myself an eclectic spiritualist. And I call myself a witch because I do practice witchcraft. So, this is Guy Alexander's modern guide to witchcraft I have no idea when it's published because i don't have my glasses on so the next book that i bought from her is the modern witchcraft spell book your complete guide to crafting and casting spells by sky alexander and as i've said many times ah, i say this and i forget this is, i have changed my path changing your path it's not something that I did all on my own that I wanted to do. It just kind of happened. It was time to change my path. Therefore, I did. So I bought an abundance of books that maybe I might find different spells in. <laughs> this is adorable. So the first spell that I turned to is a guardian angel ritual. All week, I have discussed getting in touch with communication, listening to your heart. I'm very, and the rest of my videos, just all about communication. Protection bath, brave heart lotion, colors to use in protection spells. Let's go a little farther back. Talisman to make a good impression, a spell to save your job. That, I mean, I see a lot of really good spells in here that you could... A spell for a peaceful relationship, a shell, an oblong stone, a cauldron, gardenia incense, dried pink rose petals, a dab of honey, matches or a lighter, one pink cloth pouch, preferably silk or velvet, but you know it's all about your intent. And it tells you the best time to perform the spell is on a Friday when the sun and the moon are in Libra. I like that. I like the correspondences and I like the way that it's simple. Here's a love bath. Fill your tub. Bath salts. A few drops of either jasmine, lang lang, patchouli, or rose essential oil. Everybody has at least one of those. Um, the rest of the rose petals left from the spell to attract your soulmate. Oh, this must be a combination spell. A red or a pink candle and a holder. Matches in a lot of romantic music. And the best time to perform the spell is on a Friday night during the waxing moon couldn't love this book more i think i'm really going to enjoy this and i am going to go through this asap ah good there's an index so this is the modern witchcraft spell book your complete guide 
to casting and crafting spells. I said it backwards. I'll be back with another video with the rest of my books.